Good morning, everyone. My name is Brittany Shine, Hello. and today um, mm -hmm. the Lord has a message for you all. It's a simple message, and it is just one word believe. Believe in God. Um, so this past Sunday, um, I heard a message from our pastor's brother. <coughs> And he said, don't have faith in faith, have faith in God. Too many, peop too many times people have faith in faith. They, they, they have faith that if, if they just believe that something uh, miraculous would happen in the name of Jesus, that it will happen. And yes, we we know that God performs miracles. We know that um, he, he can do great and mighty works. And we can do great and mighty works in his name. But to believe in God, to believe in Jesus when all else fails. To God I live, or for, for God I live, for God I die. Um, Daniel believed in God. He believed, he had faith in God, even when he knew that he was going to be persecuted. He knew that he was going to be thrown into the den of lions, all because he does his daily routine by praying three times a day. He prayed to the Lord. He, he had a relationship with God. God in Daniel chapter 6 starting at verse 18 it says now the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting and no musicians were brought before him also his sleep went from him then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions and when he came to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. The king spoke, saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to deliver you from the lions? Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O oh king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury whatever was found on him because he believed in his God. And it's the same story with the three Hebrew men in the same book when King Nebuchadnezzar was, was going to throw the three Hebrew men into the fire into the fiery furnace because they have chosen to disobey the king's command to bow down to his golden statue they said oh king live forever we respect you but we respect god more and we choose not to bow down to your golden statue instead we choose to serve the living god and because of that they believed in God, even to the point of, of death, even to the point of persecution. And guess what? God saved them. God rescued them just like he rescued Daniel. And they were unharmed. They didn't die. They didn't burn to death. They, they, they didn't get ate by lions. <laughs> they believed in in the lord and even though even though they didn't die there are others there are other christians um in times past and even in today's time that have not been delivered on earth 
but instead have chosen a better life, a better resurrection in heaven. So they, even though they didn't get rescued here on earth, they now live forever with Jesus in heaven. And so it's a win-win situation. So if we're not delivered here on earth, we are free from this earth forever. <laughs> but if we are delivered here on earth, then that means our time is not up yet. Our time here on earth is not up yet. God still has some work for us to do. He still has some work for us to do. And so I praise the Lord because this, this is why we have to get understanding. This is why we get understanding. The Bible says with all, with all thy getting, get understanding.